true, but people, it sounds like they really do need a good good counselor, somebody to really talk to. Because I've heard of people who, and you know, I've heard you eventually quit having hot flashes. I know people who never quit having So it is ever. true. It's one where mom's experience with menopause uh -huh. is most predictive. Or if you have older sisters, um, that can help predict what age you might quit having cycles. It could also help predict what your major symptoms may be. A lot of women generationally had hysterectomies and mm -hmm. so they're not really sure when they went through menopause. Um, but it is one where most patients, somewhere between six to 24 months, but you're absolutely right. There are some women who are like, I'm going to use my estrogen patch for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. And in general, that's an important patient to see me once a year to go over your health history, make sure you haven't started smoking or been diagnosed with diabetes, high mm -hmm. cholesterol. Talk about your family history because sometimes that can be really important if you have multiple family members who've had heart attacks, the hormone replacement therapy might not be ideal for you. Mm -hmm. And so it is one where there are some women, as you mentioned, who mm -hmm. it is okay for them to continue to use hormones really for forever. Without, without really a significant risk over a general population. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, and correct. it's good for your bone health too, isn't it? I mean, it is. It's very one much so. where I wouldn't recommend oh, estrogen yeah, you would know that, just, you? <laughs> for, just for bone health, but it can be an added advantage and it is one where, um, again, it's just part of the conversation of what are your goals, what is bothering you, what are some other health issues you may have, and how can we potentially deal with those with one thing versus mm -hmm. maybe and over time, I have some patients change, their health changes. And then there are other women who, I've been on hormones for 10 years. Have you ever not taken them? Mm -hmm. No. And part of that is saying, you know what, quit. Mm -hmm. And if two, three weeks goes by and you feel the same, you probably don't need it anymore. Mm -hmm. There's not a test that we can do that says, oh, well, if you quit taking hormones, you're going to have terrible hot flashes. It really is to do what we call a drug holiday, meaning taking a break and see what happens. And a lot of women are surprised that they don't have symptoms. And some women, ooh, they come back with a vengeance and they're like, I'm never doing that again. <laughs>